Oh, no. Not, not even close. <laughs> Who can beat you? I mean, honestly, you could get like half the roster probably beat me. I'm not very fast and super agile, though. I can make I can make people miss in space, but I'm probably not running from anyone. Let's talk about this process, man. I mean, first of all, what was the process for you getting from Yazoo to Arkansas State? You know, um, for me, especially coming out of the state of Mississippi, Mississippi, you know, recruitment was really slow, but. Um, honestly, I was about to go play juco ball at Kapai Link Community College, and Arkansas State rolled around the corner late, and I took an official visit the weekend before signing day, and they gave me the offer on my way up there, and I was just like, what the heck, I just took a chance on it. So when I got to Arkansas State, um, I had two really good productive seasons there, and I felt like it was time to get out and go bigger, and I finally made it to where I wanted to be in the SEC. Was the SEC always on your mind throughout those two seasons, or was it at first, let me just well, see what I can do? At first, at first, my mindset was, you know, Arkansas State was the one school that gave me that opportunity, so I felt like I owed it all to them. But as I started going through and like after this past season, you know, I felt like as a kid at first, you know, my dream was to play at the highest level. So with the transfer portal coming around and all these opportunities to go other places, I felt like I just take advantage of that opportunity. How did this come about? Like what made South Carolina stand out once you entered the transfer portal? I say, you know, for me, one thing I realized that no matter where you go and like football is going to be football. So I wanted to be around genuine people and people that cared about me as a human off the field and not just me as a football player so I'd say just what I felt from coach step after him recruiting me and coach Beamer what they what they're trying to build here and like just seeing the way the team interact with them when I came up with my official during the spring was really just the deciding factor that made me feel like South Carolina's the best place. I'm sure you, you're close with all the receivers. Is there, is there a group that you kind of bonded with already? You guys live together, anything like that? You guys sitting beside me, Antoine Wells. I say me and him, we work out a lot, and both of us coming in transfer. He's been, he was here in the spring, so he was here a little bit longer than me, but it's hard to be a transfer because you have to try to find where you fit. And with both of us being new transfers, they're kind of – we got a lot of expectations behind us, so we're kind of in the same boat. So I think that really connects us. Uh, what about with some of the established guys, Josh, to carry on? How have those guys been the transition with those? I say um, Josh doesn't talk much, but DK, you know, he's always been right there beside me when we work out. You know, he's always there, making sure that I'm good with everything, guiding me along the way really just making sure I'm straight. So that's probably him and Jalen Brooks are two guys that's been here that's kind of like taking me in and making sure I'm good with everything. 